Well, greetings, you magnificent bastards. Welcome to another video. This time I'll be doing a review of not one, not two, not even three, but two Super Sentai figures. And it's gonna be on the new uh, Super Hentai series, Boon Boomgers. What is this? But anyway, going to the tags first, here's the uh, Red Ranger one, the Boon Red. This is Boon Boomgers here. Yep, Boon Red, well. Here's the Boon Blue. Boom pink, it's upside down. So yeah, here we have the new trio, which is gonna be a quartet plus one in the future. Um, and what what is what are what are these designs, man? Like we went from the King Orges, which looks so goddamn badass, and then we have these guys. What the fuck, man? Like take a look at the head first, and um, yeah, he's got a wheel stuck to the head. It's just attached to the head like a tumor. Um, you know, decorative ties have been done before, and you know, um, Tokusatsu, for example, coming on a drive. Um, you know, it can be done. You know, drive does look badass in most of his forms, but this is just stupid looking. Like maybe if the tie sort of wrapped around the head and was more flush to the helmet, it would look a bit better. But it just, yeah, it, it's just stuck on there and makes the head shape look so weird. Like what, does he stand on his head to travel around as the wheel spin and... <laughs> like what the f... Uh. Like I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but it's just such an ugly suit. But yeah, uh, personal preferences on designs aside, it is sculpted to look like him from the hit TV series, Coming Run a Drive. The tie does have some sculpted detailing in there, which are all different from one suit to another, which I will show comparisons when I get to them. And I do like how the uh, helmet does have the uh, humanoid mouth thingy, as I do like it when Super Sentai suits have that. I don't know, it is just kind of nice, I guess. Anyway, moving on down the body and yeah, look at the paint. It's uh, very lacking. Missing all the gray on the arm here, the black on the watch thingy. Missing the gray that goes down the legs and missing the black and the colored red on the boots as well. Yay! So as you can already tell, the uh, paint on these figures are very, very lacking. They do have the detail on the chest here printed and some of the gray, but yeah, it's uh, really, really lacking. Especially if you compare it to last year's Super Sentai figures, you know, they actually tried with the paint, you know, have some variations here and there with the paint, on the legs and the arms, but this year, yeah, uh, they just didn't bother with the legs there. But anyway, there's the back. He does have the wheels on the back as well for some reason. And as you can see, there's no paint at all on the back. Man, yeah, Boon Boomgers is such a weird name. I'm, I'm going to call these guys the Boom Boys for this video. So here's Boon Blue. <laughs> Again, such a dorky name. Um, and yeah, it shares the same sculpt as the Red Ranger when it comes to the arms and the legs, but unique main body because the tire shape is different. So yeah, that's nice, and the patterning on the tire itself is a little bit different compared to the Red Ranger here, as you can see. But the rest of the entire figure is the same as the Red Ranger, so I'm not really going to bother too much with this guy here. It, it's just Red Ranger, but blue. And last, and definitely least, we have the Pink Ranger. For some weird reason, they reuse the arms and the legs of the you know, red and blue here, even though this is a female character, not a male. Um, but you do have a unique sculpt for the body because, you know, unique tire on the face. So you're yeah, having the female body with the male arms and legs does make the proportions look a little bit weird. Especially if you compare it to last year's, you know, King Orger, where they actually bothered to uh, have a unique sculpt for the female characters. But again, here's a closer look at that tire face. And then as you can see, different patterning on the tire itself. So, wow. And then there's the back, it looks like a back that's completely unpainted. But anyway, when it comes to the articulation of these figures, the arms rotate, the waist rotates, so just your basic three points of articulation. So on to some size comparisons. So here we have Boon Red next to Kurgata Orja, and as you can see, they're not really in scale. Boon Red is quite a bit taller than the uh, Kurgata Orja here. Which is a shame because this is the second series of this new Super Sentai line and they're already screwing up the scale. And then here's the Pink Ranger next to Papillon Orja, I think it was called. Um, and as you can see, she is towering over her. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the review of the uh, Boom Boys. Could you stand to please? Thank you. Um, these are weird figures. The designs are weird. The figures are a bit weird. 
You can definitely feel the cost cutting um, on these figures with the lack of paint and the reused parts. Um, it's not as bad on the red and blue ranger, but having the male body parts on the pink ranger is it's so weird to me. But if you like the series that's not even out yet, if you just collect Super Sentai figures, then um, these exist. So yeah.